Didn't move the feet much, but connected with that. That's a boundary. It screams away along the snow. Quite a chilly day today, but a great shot played off the back foot over the top of cover. Actor into ball to Sewag. It's a great shot from Sewag. Short hit away, a magnificent shot for yet another four top players of the world partaking in the ice cricket. And we have Razak, which had a very good day yesterday, being hit for four. I mean, it's the, it's the first power play. It's six overs in the first power play. There are plenty of gaps out there. If you can get it through the ring, go aerial, the ball is going to travel. There's a lack of oxygen here, and the ball travels a long way. So he tidied up nicely in those last three overs. Yeah! Oh, what a great delivery. Trying to work the ball behind square and a little edge, and neatly taken from... Uh, Matt Pryor. So you can see the Royals are very happy with this dismissal, getting out the the dangerous Dilshan early on. A great delivery. Here we see short of a length, Dilshan trying to work it behind square. A nice little nick through to Matt Pryor. So maybe a quicker wicket. Yeah! My word! <laughs> on a hat trick. What a breakthrough. Again, back of a length, looking to hit through the offside. And Pryor taking a very good slip catch in the slips there. Very good. And it's just such a picturesque sight. So Shev for the second over. So wow. And uh, it could be another boundary it is. Two in two deliveries and that was a short delivery nicely played by he's on 13 of six. Third man is up in the circle. This will race away to the boundary. Well, even on the snow, the ball does move pretty quickly. Shwe Bakhtar is running in, who looks very, very stiff to me. He was struggling in the morning. Another boundary. Three in three. Three consecutive boundaries by Viru Sehwag. That's a bit of a trademark shot of his as it comes inside and flicks it away. Yeah, he knew where the fielder was. He knew fine leg was up in the circle. Ball was... Yeah, from the far end, he's bowled rather well. Oh, up in the, the sky, and that could be a six. No, it drops well short, but it is a four. He's really looking good, Brenda Sehwag. Picked it up nicely towards the mid-wicket region. Couple of bounces into the fence. That's Viru looking really, really good here. Well being caught by Shahid Afridi. Ah, uh, edged. Big run put in, and now... Top edge. Shwebi was a little wider at third man. Couldn't cut it off, and I think it's very stiff. He looks the part. Swings it away, and it could be a boundary. Yes, it is. Second boundary in this over from Michael Hussey. History in making. Oh, smashes it behind bowler. Viru Sehwag is taking none of that. Slightly short. He's looking good. No need to run those. I mean, ball is racing away on this snow. Unbelievable. Could oh, that be the first six of the day? It is. Swings it away past Quayleg. 38. He's on. Look at this. All the way into the stands. First six of the game today. Down leg swung away. And uh, just inside the boundary line, but another boundary. Of 20 deliveries. You can't bowl him there when he's on fire. He will punish you. And that's what, exactly what he's doing. The white snow. But uh, for Viru Sehwag, not too difficult. That uh, didn't quite catch the middle of the bat, but that will be another boundary for Viru Sehwag. It's a 50 partnership where we believe Sehwag has obviously done the lion's share of the work. Backward square, short third, and uh, it will go to short third. It does. Graham Smith picks up another very easy catch. Viru Sehwag just short of his 50. He was looking really, really good here outside. Off stump, got the edge. Third man was up in the circle. Good catch by Graham Smith, and look at the excitement. 47.35, almost 148. That's amazing. Yes, yeah, he there's a fielder well. there. No chance. He'll race away to the boundary. It was a sort of a slow bouncer, as it were. Just shows once again what a fabulous sight it is. Swings it away, Simons, and that will be four. So, welcome boundary. Sight, somewhere it's at the background. Catch it! Hussey up in the air, what a diving effort, brilliant! Yeah, that partnership is only just getting going between those two. 26 partnership. Fantastic piece of athleticism there from Grant Elliott. We're back on again, and it's a 
beautiful six by Mohamed Kaf over the midwicket. Guest commentator immediately showing a great shot. This is a great shot. shot. Worked on the offside. A, a despairing dive <laughs> by Smith. They're freely into bow and it's worked on the onside. It's going all the way, it's caught, but I think it's gone for oh, six for Tori, make a very good catch, but unfortunately over the boundary. And then he used to go out and play. Victoria into ball, the short ball hit on the leg side, bit of a misfield, it's gone for four. Can't reach the length there, he wanted to ball. I said pitching is short like me. <laughs> so... Here <laughs> gone the six towards mid-wicket. He tossed the ball up, why did he do that? There is another shot towards me, but it's gone for six. Six. There you there go. go. <laughs> there you go. Short. He's ready and oh, off the toe, but still enough power. But they must go on. Sure. There you go. That is a big six. Straight back on a baller's head. It's absolutely amazing shot. Out to the ground, 80 <laughs> or 90 meters. A fantastic six. Wow, look at that. Oh, and who says the matting is not good? Simon swings it down. That's a uh, calf beg your pardon. Another smart boundary. Just to the left of the man at square leg. Uh, obviously, the target is 180 to 190. 200 would be ideal on this pitch. And these conditions. Wincing away with the cold, no doubt. Once again, short, swung around. And just to the right of the fielder. 163 for four now. Two deliveries, much needed, inside out. That's for the maximum. Whoa! <laughs> Maybe even 200, we'll see. Up in the air, that's huge! Into the stands! Short delivery by Shahid Afridi, pulled it, and literally into the stands. I think he likes that, admiring it. Last delivery of this over by Shahid Afridi. Into the gap, another boundary. 14 runs from this over. Under 85 for four. I wish. I've got a view for parking lot. Oh, swings it high, and that should be another six way beyond the boundary line. That is brilliant. A hundred partnership and only 53. That's just brilliant. What a shot from Kev. Look at this short delivery game sent through. Went all the way for the maximum, and that's his 50 as well. So well played, Mahmoud Kev. Once again, another boundary, yes, another Once maximum, six, and that's his 50 now. 50 of 28 deliveries, 199. The captain wanted 200, they almost got 200. Abdul Razak suffering, saying, what happened to me? I bowled so well here today. And he did go to those two wickets earlier on with the two Sri Lankans, but uh, hammered in this final over by Mahmoud Kef. It's and, feel uh, like minus 12 here right now, I'm shivering. <laughs> Swings it again, that should be another six, and it is! Oh, a square leg. Wow! Three in a row. 200 up, two of five for four in 1925. Razak, two for 48 now. Well, it was short. Kev saw it well in time and swung away beyond uh, square leg for another huge six. Oh, bold him. Off the inside edge, we think. So Razak gets a bit of revenge, but a little late in the day. He picks up three wickets today, far more expensive. Nobody comes around and gives them a hug. Come on, guys, it's cold enough to do that. But uh, quite an exhibition put up by Simons and Kerr. Yes, he's got today. third wicket, inside edge onto the stumps, but uh, in the end, amazing batting by Andrew Simons and Kerr, 57 of 30, and the Simons 51 of... 26 partnership 114 of 56. Oh gosh, I can't I take my gloves only off. 16. There we go. Simon's not out. 67, the top score of uh, the Bedrock's Palace Diamonds earlier. So far, doing a lot of good work. 46 from 22, terrific strike rate. And Mahmoud Kev too, showcasing his big hitting abilities. 57 from only 30. In the middle, of course, a bit of a hole there as Dilshan and Jaywar. Then they got out to uh, Razak. Consecutive deliveries. And Hussey too, didn't quite time the ball today. But great to see these uh, legendary cricketers you've ever seen, including you, of course. Absolutely. The lo I I'm loving it. It's something totally different, something exciting, something new. Uh, let's have a look at the bowling analysis.
Shoaib Akhtar, 3.1 overs, got injured, 37 runs. Abdul Razak again, pick of the bowlers, 4 overs, 48 for 3. And Nathan McCallum, 3 overs, 32. Daniel Vittori got a wicket in his 4 overs with 20 runs. Oh, a swing and a miss, I tell you what, that was a, that was a after lunch stroke that from Graham Smith. Oh, he's middle this one. Timed it beautifully, threw him at a wicket, running away. He's not going to rein that in. First boundary of the innings. Well, this ball travels fast over the outfield, doesn't it? It's fantastic. Just keeps running away. We've seen over the years, Graham Smith, that has been such a productive area for him over that long test ODR career. It's tough, but playing at the ball. Oh, Matt Pryor, what a stroke. A cut shot. He looks fit, doesn't he? He's very motivated. He's, he's doing very well in his... Uh, career after cricket in, in his cycling in his one pro cycling event and he is very motivated what we are doing here of course local incidents of cowbells and and uh, skiing and everything else and here was a lovely shot by uh, Smith and there here is the other ball boys oh hit down the ground this time Graham Smith they got to feel that Chasing after it, and this is turning into a huge over. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> Who can believe it? I'll be happy to have a laugh about it. That's it. Shout is catch it. The fielder is under it. Let's see. Oh, and that's a boundary as well. Let's see. Prior hitting through the line, and Simon's doing his best. He's trying to work through the sneak and score. No oh. near, no chance. <laughs> oh dear, what a shame. The Swiss bell. <laughs> oh, it's swung away. Let's see. Yes. Uh, wicket. Short ball. Prior trying to work away, getting the top edge. Meningla in a good position. Well, that's a brilliant shot. Ball. I've never seen him in spells much. This is a great shot. We hit for four. So it's poised for an interesting competition. The ball's in the air. Very high in the air. And they're under it. Ooh. Oh! He wasn't waiting even gloves. They're chasing two or six. Top edge, up in the air. Simple as you like. But he wasn't wearing any gloves. And it's minus four degrees. And it is, in fact, very cold. And without gloves, it's very difficult. To, uh, the, the ball must get harder Lovely under the circumstances. So to catch such a thing is very difficult. Oh, and another great shot on the offside by uh, Jack Callis. We are in an exposed situation here, and uh, we're doing the best that we can. Oh, he oh. followed him. Nicely played. Oh, yeah. Jack look, Callis look, he followed, and then look at the shot. They need a boundary, I reckon, at this stage of the game. Yes! They got the maximum, I think. Ajita Garkar will take the ball now. Oh, there's a misfield. Who is that? <laughs> <laughs> Smashed away down the ground. Oh, the footwork. Oh, nowhere near. Oh, nowhere, nowhere near. It wasn't it. even close. God. How old are you, Jack? 78. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, I feel like that now. Absolutely. <laughs> and another great shot for four runs. And there we have. It's six overs gone, 62 for one. Push through slightly quicker, hit on the onside, and it's gone for a, oh, a, but I this is the shot again. I think, I think it's gone for maximum. six, let's have a good look. That for me looks like a six, what a great effort. That is not the Finally uh, middle one. Full toss. Oh, lovely shot. I like this shot. Can he get his glasses back on? That's a trap. Oh, that's a brilliant shot. Another boundary. Signature Graham Smith just lofted over on the onside. Another brilliant shot. This will race away to the boundary. A guy in the last over managed to get a bit of movement, but now Smith is opening up, freeing his arms. And a fantastic cover. And you see how quickly this ball goes over the outfield. It's a, it's it's slippery quick. Real enjoyment in his face. It's just good to see. Oh, All nicely this played. Delicately played. He's used his, used his space. He's in the right position. It slips through his fingers. That's another good hit. Is it going to make it? Is he cut it off? It's a great piece of fielding there on the boundary. Is it going to be signaled? Or? Yes, it is. 
And it will be through the gap. It could even be four. Big chase being put in there. Oh, well done. That's the two. And they'll be safe. So that's uh, the 50 for Graham Smith. Well played, big boy. Yeah, these South Africans are putting on the runs. That partnership now goes up to 72 between these two. A very game cricketer, hard trier. On the outside, there is... Oh! Beast the man at back point in the boundary. How well timed was that? I hear these bowlers, because at the moment, I think this game is running away with them. <laughs> oh, I got inside of it, and... Is it careful once again? Oh, no, no, it's... Uh, well, that's the problem on the snow, really, that it gets churned up by the field as they run around, as the game goes on, and there are plenty of divots out there, little holes for the ball. Up, oh, and that should be... Oh, taken, Kef getting underneath, and it is taken! One with Kef, well done! Absolutely crucial wicket there. Breaking that partnership worth 84 or 46 deliveries, and they, boy, do they need it, the Diamonds. It's just running away with them, the game, at the moment. And uh, through the offside and uh, oh, I spoke nobody too moved. soon. I spoke too soon. I'm sorry. <laughs> no movement at all. It was struck so fiercely. There we go. Wow. Jogi's got to pitch it up, and he does. I think off the pads this time around, but it will go all the way to the boundary. 49, I think. Yeah, 49 off 23 deliveries. Gloves and then pat, wasn't it? As the ball just ricochets away. Well, some glove for sure. I'm sure he's enjoying himself here. A visual treat and, of course, great to see some of the world's best cricketers. It's going to be power. Continue. That is launched. That has gone aerial. Yes, it's got the legs on it. It's, in fact, beaten the crowd and it rolls out towards the grandstand. Callis over long on with the turn. He loves that area. He's a big man and he hits it a long way as well. Watch out there. Has only faced 26 deliveries. <laughs> oh. Okay, for that reverse sweep, <laughs> O.A. Shah using a bit of innovation and imagination there. Turning around, the reverse slap, describing that one. Charging up the wicket there, and that's a sky at, should be caught, get those cold hands, oh, it's another drop, it's the cold hand brigade. In the end, he wasn't in a great position to take this catch. I mean, under normal conditions, you know, on a sunny day, on a grass wicket, that catch would be taken every time, but we're in the snow. You're right, John, I mean, there's, there is much more of a breeze today. The wind chill factor is no fun, it has to be said. Oh, gets a bottom edge there. Just going for the full-blooded cut, but manages to get it down towards third man. Really kept them in the game, kept them ahead of the game. Most of the time, and still, they're getting 10, 12 to the over comfortably. See if Malinga can work his magic. He's gone with the bounce there. Malinga just struggling. Bowling a couple of full tosses, a couple of drag downs, so not easy. Comes Malinga, it's too short. Making lots of room there, Callis. He's just playing with Malinga at the moment. It's another boundary that bites the dust. Cruising for victory at the moment, the Royals. It's popped up into the air there, but it's safe. It's gone into no man's land. It is another boundary. Oh, Keller straight. Jacques Keller's trying to clear long off, and he's done it. Oh, look, on the back foot, didn't quite middle it. At this altitude, you don't need to. Away oh, shot. This has gone high. It hasn't gone far enough, but falling safely, and it's rolled through. Oh, there's all sorts of sliding, and it's just crept over the boundary. That's four more. 85 runs off 35 balls. And, and Callis really now in fine form. These pair put a lot of runs, flicked away off his pads. The code we've had a bit of time together to enjoy uh, what a great cover drive. So it was a really classic cover drive all the way along the deck. Just let, let's have another look at a half volley and just skidded over the top of cover. The heave ho, that's a big stroke. We saw this many occasion. It's another shot flicked away. Gone for another boundary. You ever seen smile on the faces? And another six in stop. No, sweep slope. 
they've had a great Wollon talk. They want to win. Uh, and I believe that, let's look at this, they've just gone through at a counter. The uh, Royals, 262, have won this game by eight wickets within 16.4 overs. And here we go. This is the Royal scorecard. Graham Smith got K for power, 58 runs of 36 balls, a very good innings. Pryor was very, was very brief, but it's still 11 of six. But look at this, Jack Callis, 90 not out of 37 balls. Owe Shah, 43 of 21. The total 206 for two. The Royals win within 16.4 overs and really were very dominant. We have the bowling, uh, bowling figures. One for 29, Zahir Khan striking, but after that, Malinga over 10 to the over, as well as Agarko, that really traveled, and Ramesh Power, he got a bit of tap, went to 55, picked up the one wicket, Dilshan rolled the arm over, and Sharma as well, so not much light to shed there. So here we go, it is now, this is the result of the match, the Badger's Palace Diamonds, 205 for five, but the Royals win by eight wickets.